What's up guys, it's Burning Rubber here. Today we're gonna to be talking about the top five mods we've done on the A4. So I've had this car since about January and ever since we've done a whole bunch of different modifications to it. Starting with number one, we have the grill and the vents. So this is an RS4 inspired grill and vent it costs about $274 to do. I think it makes the bumper look much more aggressive. Even though the bumper itself is the same, uh, it just makes it look very much like an RS4. Number two, we have the wheels. Uh, the wheels were a must. Um, when I first got the car, we had little 17-inch Audi stock wheels, um, and I've updated them to 19 inches. Uh, I purchased the wheels from Tire Rack for about $2,400. Um, it was a great deal. They were mounted, they were balanced, and all I had to do is install them. Up next, we have number three, which are the h &R lowering coilovers. I gotta say, this mod was a must for the car. It set me back about $1,400. Uh, it gives you great adjustability of how high, how high you want the car lifted, which is great since um, I'm able to adjust it and allow the car to not rub on the fenders. Up next, we have number four. I would say that would be the vinyl black roof. Uh, this one set me, back, set me back about $70. Uh, we, we got together five guys uh, on a Friday night and went ahead and, and uh, vinyl wrapped the car. It took a few hours, but it was a very, um, very unique mod. It, it certainly took more effort than any of the other ones, uh, but I think it makes the car look very slick from um, just that contrast of uh, the white body with all of the black little details. Finally, we have number five. Uh, for the fifth one, I would say that the lip was uh, the winner here. Uh, I bought it from China for $99. It was a very easy installation. Uh, there's a 3M tape that you just peel off, uh, install it, and then you, you put a few fasteners to, to secure it to the bumper. Um, the car it stands, as of now, about maybe seven inches off the ground. So I do have to be a little bit careful with uh, curbs or bumps. But overall, the coilovers give me that adjustability. Um, I know that once I installed that lip, I did raise the coilovers uh, just because I wasn't able to get out of my driveway without scraping it. On top of that, I just want to talk to you guys about some of the smaller mods that I've done. Uh, so with everything else that we've, we've done here, we have the license plate tow hook. Uh, I know in, if you're in Denver metro area, you have to have these license plates on the front of your car. You could easily get a ticket if you're driving around downtown and not having them on there. So that was a must. Uh, we also went ahead and smoked the side markers. These used to be an ugly orange color that just stood out from everything else, but we, uh, we, went, about it, we went ahead and bought some um, uh, smoke material for about 10 bucks on eBay, and a uh, very easy installation. We just went ahead, set it on the marker, uh, made sure there's no bubbles, and then used a razor to carefully cut around the actual um, marker. Next, we have the mirror caps. Uh, so this one is actually two different mods. The first one that we did was we installed dynamic turn signals. Uh, by stock, uh, the, the turn signal, I'll turn it on as it is, would be a solid flash. But afterwards, uh, I purchased these for about $70. Uh, it gives you that nice dynamic um, sort of rolling effect as uh, you have your turn signals on. Uh, and it looks very nice because right now the, the, the tail the tail lights have that same idea where uh, it just swooshes. And if you would like to see, this is how the car comes in stock. It gives you again uh, that nice dynamic look of, of you using your turn signals or hazards. Up next, we have the emblems. We took off pretty much all of the emblems that were on it. Um, if you would recall, they were uh, a silver color with you got the A4, the Quattro, uh, along with the 2.0. So we scrapped all of those and went ahead and installed a single Audi rings emblem that uh, we purchased as black. I, I think that that just makes the car, car look very slick and uh, overall I, I think it looks much better and clean. Uh, the next thing is we, w we went ahead and paid some uh, guy to tint the windows and, uh, and put a visor on um, the windshield which we'll look at in a second. That cost about $200 and it was tinted to 15% which is uh, here in Colorado, Colorado the bare minimum. If you like we could take a look at that too. So you can see here we have a visor, which uh, is actually very useful. Uh, it's more honestly practical than for looks. Uh, I know that when I'm driving home, um, I'm going west, so the sunset is right in my eyes, but the visor definitely helps with uh, not blinding me as much. Uh, but besides that, there is no mechanical 
uh, modifications done to the car as of now. Uh, there's been conversations of uh, putting uh, like a, a tuning chip to get some more horsepower, upwards of 60 horsepower compared to the 252 that it currently has as a stock engine. Um, it's something that's definitely in consideration, but um, still thinking about it, it is about $500 or so, so it's, it's a bit of a money drop. All these links will be in the description. Um, you could see them all done on this car in previous videos. We'll have all those links down below. Uh, the last detail I would like to say is that there's plans for a few other mods that I'd like to talk about. If we wrap around here on the back of the car, you'll notice that the tail looks a little bit lonely. Um, and so the idea is we're gonna put a black spoiler uh, that matches the rest of the, the black and white contrast, as well as uh, a modified diffuser. Um, and so these are in the plans of, of being purchased and installed. So uh, stay tuned and um, that video will be out pretty shortly here. Just want to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, it's Burning Rubber. Go ahead and like, subscribe, comment. What other modifications will we do? It's up to you guys. Thanks.